everybody, Boomer here, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner, with Tyler Beast. Hey guys, it's another matchup here of the NBA 2K Sports, and this time we're ready to send you off to Indianapolis of Indiana. With our next matchup, we've got the Cavaliers and the Pacers for Game 4. Now, if you're ready to take things on, another game will be happening here, as this one will be the next game at 5.30 p.m. That next game will be the Pelicans versus against the Thunders. And then tonight's game will be the Magic facing against the Knicks at the Madison Square Garden. And finally, we have it across here, the Warriors versus the Nuggets. It's going to be a great matchup in between of those two. But we have to find out who will take another win. It's going to be everybody's favorite game, and find out who will take here. The next commentary I will have is, it will be Son of Beast, and he's also along with the other commentators of the crew. This time, he is with Wood Spoonie. And finally, of the third commentary of the night, is Ultra Beast. And we'll be back with you shortly on the other side, so you don't want to miss that one out here. It's going to be a great matchup. Now let's send you down to Indianapolis for the start of the first game of Game 4 on the other side. We'll see you all later for the post-game show in between the Pacers and Cavaliers. Let the games begin. Two K Sports, welcome you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. Good evening, everyone, and we are ready to get this thing started. Glad you have us join us here for the NBA playoffs on Two K Sports. I'm Son of Beast, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner in between the Wood Spoonie and the other side or on the other win. It's all for the ones. The award fans to watch. And we sit in between David Aldridge or Alibo Force. And here are the starting groups. Ella Burns on Garland. Nemar is on Mitchell. Struz is on the way on the other side of it right now here on, uh, on Nesmith. Then across from here we have is another takeover as Turner is on Jared Allen. And finally Evan Mobley. He's on Pascal Siaka. And for our first commentary tonight, we're starting things off a little bit different here on the camera angle. This one will be the new look here for the broadcasting of tonight. We haven't shown you here so long, but here it is now. He's ready to get this thing going, and here we go. And this time will be will be Ultra Beast and the first commentary of the crew, all fueled and set to go. Nightsmith is now finding another way to open look for Siakam. Siakam gives it over. Here's a three for uh, Burton. It's good. Range starts off here for the two pointer for Tyrese Ella Burton. Stall things off here. Tyrese Ella Burton is one of the biggest players ever since they played here in the All Star game. They're really are looking forward to that. And right now, the first three pointer starts things off for Max Struz as he had the outside three pointer in. Here's a look here for Nesmith, and now you will find it again to Ella Burton. Halliburton tries to swing it over, now finding it again to Nemhard. Nemhard gives it again to Halliburton. Nemhard trying to look for some floppy motion to give the bounce pass. Ball's loose, still hold on as Nemhard will have it in. Inside a quarter is Nesmith. The two puts in for Nesmith as Nemhard with the assist. It's just easier way to get this thing settled in now. They really are making a layup drive easier enough. There is Garland again, Cyrus Halliburton. Here's a cut inbound, and this one's denied by Turner. It's a great one. I really like to see what it is. That's where you start things off. What a great play this is. Let's put it in. Now here's a look here for Turner. Turner is off the corner, Pascal Siakam for two. That's off the point, as Turner will try to get back to Halliburton, and now switches off the angle of the guy again. Tyrese Halliburton for two. This one takes it in as after Nesbitt with the assist. Tyrese Halliburton's got his first bucket and now his second bucket appearance that he's got his four. It's just easy enough to know how Tyrese Halliburton is really like an impressive player to sight. I've always got to say that he's like a really good person, giving it a good look and that's all the hard part. You give it up there for good. As an out of new one puts it in for Donovan Mitchell. He hasn't scored yet since 2021 and 22 with the Jazz before the trade-off begins here for a 2022-23 year of the season. Part with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yeah, it's just not that hard it is. 
not everybody's well at it, but you always can't never tell. All everyone really cares for is they play it like they've done it for a week. Every time you have it at right in the range, you gotta make sure you have it in the right setup. That's why Donovan Mitchell is really wanting to get his new concentration for the team. And a three-pointer will step in for Donovan Mitchell. Ball on the road with 23 points and a rebound was only five. And a shooting percentage was only one. Here comes Siakam. He's fouled. First foul calls on Cleveland with Jared Allen. His first personal foul. And that will be their first team foul for Cleveland with 5.02 to go. This is what they all say, Pascal Siaka, for the trend line from Toronto Raptors. He now wants to face things up here for the Indiana Pacers. This one was not even a tough how you can play for, but the handling of this offense is going to take a lot of time for it. First free throw coming up for Indiana Pacers with 5 or 2 to go. As the game's tied right now, it's 8 to 8 score. We'll ask the number 2 free throws to get up to 10. He missed the first free throw. Now you say Pascal Siakam is really like an excellent player. What does it defend of his chance with his goal? His chance ability for Pascal Siakam, he was really like all into an effort elegy, but this ultimately has to be going with his new step of his career. After the Toronto Raptors miss out, he's looking to find out if he can get one in if he has another one with the range in. Pascal Siakam may have a chance right now if he gets there two in a row to find another situation in to go right in between. Y'all, I may have another great agreement here. Tyree Celeberton may have to give some instructions right now to Tyree Celeberton for Pascal Siakam. This might be one great chance if he has one. Screen puts it in for Jared Allen and the three will put up, he will make it in. Three quarters on the outside, they are up by two. After a win against the Orlando Magic in a real playoff game, he had 28 points this game. Hey, let's listen. Donovan Mitchell is like a star. He's really like all into everything. I've got to make sure you have it right at that time. Now here's Tyree Celebrant. We'll try to take a step bar, and a two catches in. Six points for the game for Tyree Celebrant back to keep things up. They really are looking forward for Tyree Celebrant. They're looking to see if he can get more points than that with his better average. Mobley against Siaka. Over with the shot. That grabs a miss as Siaka will have his first rebound of the night. Now he's off again to Nesman. He finds a look. Alaburin for three. And this one will stitch it out as Mobley will give it off to Garland. Garland making the spin move. In the drive. Garland misses the two. Nesbitt now finding again to Siaka. Here's Siaka for the finish. It's good. Siaka with three points. And now they're back up in the lead by two. 13 11 is the score. They're in a 3 3 to go. Timeout will be the first call by Cleveland Cavaliers with under five minutes to go. Hey, this is a great setup on that angle. I mean, you've always got to make sure you have that right target down. I'm going to say this. Whatever the bases are really are stepping it up into, I think the Pacers are already on the next round. They are really thinking that they wanted to go to the conference finals this time. So there's a wish in. Well, there might be one fine, but I don't know if it will happen. But just like Miami Heat last postseason, you already seen that the underdog team, they already made it all the way down to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time and to the NBA Finals for the first time and second time since we see the Knicks in the Valley for the upset here many years ago. But this time, this could be another third underdog team that could move on. Well, we'll find out at that point. I mean, we'll see what goes in at the conclusion of this game. Well, it's just what happens now. Box, hit, let's get the party thing started. <laughs> oh, man. We all like to call for that one in there. You will find out. Now with some new substitutions on the court, that's how Isaac Mikuro stepped in. And the other side of it, Donovan Mitchell stepped out. Sucking in is Karis LeBert. And Thompson's checked in for Jared Allen. New group 38, Indiana Pacers. After an alley oops, he says, well, here for Evan Mobley. It's Al Burton moving it over as TJ McConnell will check on the court. And Al Burton now has it again to TJ McConnell. Decide to gate the three. That is off the target outside as a Coro will have it. Here's Garland with the way up. Oh, Siaka, give me that! Back start things up here on the other side of it with 307 to go. Now that's when you take the good defensive effort. That one's going to take a lot of piece of a crunch on the ball to make it loose. 
Morrell has checked in for Jerry Scarlett as, as Niang checked in for Evan Mobley. Now here's Isaac Okoro. With some new changes right now with the screen on EA. Looking up, the two pointer doesn't hit off the mark. Pascal Siakam gets it to Nesmith. No change off here, and he gets back to Turner. Turner trying to get back to Siakam. Nesmith trying to look over. Looks back to Siakam. Here's the cut. The two puts it in for Pascal Siakam. He has five points in this game, back up by ten. By two. And now here's Isaac Okoro. Isaac Okoro trying to give off to George Nia. Nia gives him go to Isaac Okoro. He's fouled. And that will be a first foul called on Indiana Pacers. As right at the moment, Isaac Okoro will head to the free throw line shooting too. Now you look at the play in here. That one's going to take him there. He went underneath the basket. That's going to be like a hard take. But not when everybody is good at it. You don't have a right chance to do this. Free throw coming up here for the Cleveland Cavaliers with under 2.30 to go in the first period of the quarter. As this will be their first trip for Cavaliers. The first free throw sends in for Isaac Okoro. And let's say about this, Isaac Okoro is really like a professional of his athlete. The better training is not really what the requirements are. But as you take a lot of the time right now, you will have a lot of chances on your ability to keep it back in from here. Okoro misses the second. Nesmith will take it here. He has his first rebound. And now I have it over to Turner. And now Tyrese Ellenberger will try to make a new setup change. Off to the end of Siaka. Get back to Tyrese Ellenberger. Making new changes here on the court. Off to TJ McConnell. With the two, and that's good. TJ McConnell with his first bucket after assist by Elberton. That's what TJ McConnell was really getting into. Batter piece of it works. It's just a great way to start things off. Now, Harris LeBert trying to step back in for the two. Off again to Morrell. Cutting down. Here's the A. The two will send it in. This one goes back down by one. Field goals in between a 73 and 46 for Pacers and the Cavaliers. They haven't made it to the second round, but this was really like the close game that they got to do. They better have that one aggressive out there because if they don't, then, well, they've just the great go in and has to go for. Just like the Bucks. Oh, and a good fantasy drive here for Aaron Nesbitt. That will be his second bucket of the night. Oh, just got a good feeling here. I mean, I love that drive. Morrell, one minute remaining in the first quarter. After a screen, he gives it off to the A. The ball stolen by Siaka. Here comes the fast break. Off to Nesbitt. The finish. And that one will be a foul called on Cleveland. With Isaac Kuro with his first personal and her second team foul for Cleveland. You know Aaron Nesmith, after you pick up with Siakam, he had that stolen ball chime. He really got that one made and comfy there. I really like when he puts it up as pressure. The better feeling is, you got it going. The next trip to the free throw line will be Indiana, with under a minute to go, with 50.4 seconds, in the first quarter. Nesmith hits the first free throw. That one's really like a hard thing. That gotta make sure that guy is on the check. And Miles Turner checked out as Pascal Siaka will switch things over as with McDermott checked in. And Walker is also checked in for Miles Turner. And he hits the second free throw. Cleveland trailing by four. He's off again to Thompson. On the outside now finding again to Morrell. Morrell, no offensive foul of Cleveland. This one will carry up for the rebound put in for Tristan Thompson. That one will start things off here as they're up down by three. Gotta keep an eye on that with Tristan Thompson. Really had that one with all his great percentage. Effort is not trying to be a terrific call, and that 
Scott is a hard one to take. After a changeover by the Indiana Pacers, Marcus Moore Sr. stuck in for Tristan Thompson. Indiana Pacers trying to grab the better one back, as right now Nesmith and McDermott are checked out. As McDermott moves over, Oni Thompson checked in. Okoro going to tie it, and he does it. He start things off there strong right now. It's a tie game. The unique training jobs are not always a sign, but that is what I do. Keep that hard on the pressure. And here comes McConnell back the airway. Toppin, not finding it again to, to Tyrese Celebrant. Here's Oni Toppin, tries for a triple. He does it. And he has makes his first three pointer for Oni Toppin. 24 to 21 is the score. With the nearing book to tie it up. And he misses. What a great start for Indiana Pacers as only top that makes his three-pointer. They're up ahead 24 to 21. We'll take a quick break and we will get back to the action after this. Just never leave here, no quitting, finding out. Growing basketball can be difficult, but not until you make the right call. And if you're just tuning in, we've got your second quarter coming underway. As right now, Indiana leads by three. To say about this, they've already have been playing it since 2017 of the game to 2018 of their game. This one was not always easy enough of how they've done. But tell them about this. Indiana Pacers got a lot of it to take. What was your key to make the successful go in there? They really have to do a lot of big fiber. Indiana Pacers haven't been making it to the second round so many years ago, but only at that point was the Eastern Conference Finals. That happened to be many years ago, playing against the Chicago Bulls back in for the many years. But we've seen a regular season since season three on the NBA 2K19. But I'm hoping there might be another way if we can get that through. As the start one puts it in here, Tyree Sullivan is on Darius Garland. Jared Allen is on the only top end. Then across from here, we have another look of Donovan Mitchell on McDermott. Then across from here is, ne is Nembhard on Garland. Then McConnell, he's with on Max Struess. And Moore Senior, he's with on Walker. Walker with a layup over around Moore Senior. Makes it in. Walker's got his first bucket in the game against the, against the Cavaliers. Here's a look. And a dunk will put in for Jared Allen. 26-23. They trail by three to cut the digit down with the lead score. That's nowhere near it. I mean, I don't know what they will do. They may not be able to get there in time. But I mean, come on, bro. You must get that one in there. Nemar now finds McDermott. McDermott now over again to TJ McConnell over Garland. That one takes it in there. McConnell with the second bucket. Now Garland will have it over on the other side of the court. Off there, open three. They will run it back. Oh, can't finish the drive, but he will have that one take it in with a second chance. 28-25 to score, they're trying to get it back. Not even anybody can get that. I mean, they gotta let that one go down. Here's a look, Walker up. Oh, that's a tricky motion here. Walker's got a second bucket. Indiana Pacers have a 30.8 average percentage on this game. Keeping it going like it legit. Not when everybody's out there, they just really keep on going. But hey, let's play hard. Reporter for David Aldridge has Rick Carlson is the head coach for the Indiana Pacers. He's been talking to one of them in between, and he is making this team to go right into it. We've clutched their playoffs, now it's our chance to pay it in. We have a lot of work effort that we have to do. Let's keep it going and get back into work. Jarese with six points, and now here comes Allen. Oh, the contact foul puts in on Indiana Pacers as Cleveland Cavaliers added another free throw. Walker with a defensive foul effort as Jared Allen's at the free throw line shoot two. It's not what you take in. That contact foul is not really going to take all that effort. You know it doesn't happen. Most people are concerning it right now. They are really are putting a bad pressure right now. That's what their score and breakdown is. They have it off the assists and points in paint. Never going to let that one slow down, and you're not going to succeed if you get there. Now with some new changes for the Cavaliers and for the Pacers. We'll be checked in, but more senior. Miles Turner, he's in recruit, as he will check in for Walker. Oni Toppins checked out as Siakam checks in, and Nesmith, he's checked in 
Cor McDermott. And he makes a second free throw. Pacers trying to get up to another spot as Menesmith. Here comes Siaka. Oh, he's returning it up. And now back to the men part. Now back again to Siaka. Here's the baseline. And that one will sink in the corner as Siaka has seven points. As the first playoff since Tell 3 turned out, they look like they wanted to win it. So you all have it now. They finally are dugging it in. Welcome to the second round, the Indiana Pacers. They're ready to bring things on, but hopefully the conference finals will be the same thing, just like the Miami Heat does. <laughs> just got to call that one in between. And what a great cut by Miles Turner. He has his sec first bucket of the night. Miles Turner trying to get that one done straight. Oh, just look at how he's doing it. He's really like, okay, I'm ready to do for another one. Here's a take. Oh, and oh, man, what an out of success. As Darius Scarlett picks up the assist. Time on call by Indiana Pacers, but nearing the 430 mark. That's what they need to do. They need to call timeout before something happens. But a change off's never going to be easier enough to get in from here. With the next game approaching, we've got the Pelicans facing against the Thunders back at Smoothie King Center. That'll be the next part of the game here after this game has been concluded for the Pacers and the, and the Cavaliers. Then following with tonight's game is the Magic person against the Knicks at the Madison Square Garden at 7 p.m. And finally, at 10.30 p.m. will be the Nuggets facing against the Warriors. These are the only two teams we are looking for, right in between of the Pelicans and Thunders and Nuggets and Warriors, looking to see who can clutch in to the next round. There might be a good chance out there. I mean, let's call it the fuck. I mean, they might be going for it. I mean, what what will they do? Let's get to that point. They'll be tuning in right now to the Animation Epic and also the other side of the team as we're looking at it over as we've got the BFDI, TPOT, and BFDIA. we got your shows coming around your way, so if you got your tickets already, so you will be seen right in between New York, Houston, Seattle, Los Angeles, Chicago, Illinois, and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Right in between for the first three to the, to the, to the back three. Front three which will include the new episode of the BFDI, TBOT, and the other side will conclude here on the airway as we see the BFDI A, episode 12. You'll be seeing that one here after the event is complete. Now here's the pass here from McConnell. He finds the pass, then hard, back to Siaka, over around the mobile, and he makes it in! Contact shot makes it in for Siaka! He has nine points. Oh, just like Lee is going to take a drive in there. I might die and like that. Darius Garland trying to pull it in from the wing on the other side now. Trying to put an attack on McConnell. Darius Garland slides it back. Shot clock down to five. Turner with him now. Here's Mobley. And he will put it back in there. Another dunk put it in with a lot of chance effort for Siaka. But this change is over the other way. Not what everybody is doing, and because that's what everybody is taking. They said, I'm going to take a slam instead of just keep on rebounding it because the defender's on me. That's what I take here. I could reach it really well. Six on a shot clock. Here's a three for Siaka. That's off the target wide, and it's a miss. You're still with Starlane trying to get it in right now. Looks again, finding a over is Struess. Feed a shot, screen for Mobley. He has a two, and he will have that back. Another miss by Cleveland Cavaliers with three time to go. Here's a drive, up again. Too hard on the layup. That's gonna be too much effort. Well, this is the problem right now. I mean, they're not letting that score in. I mean, they're letting you kick him out already. We don't want that. And then Mar will try to slow it down on the other side, back again to DJ McConnell. Well, now they get a new change off here. Nemhard with the with the motion pick off to McConnell. He's over again to Siakam for two, and this one is off the rim. Max Strus trying to do it again. That's blocked the pass. It's stolen by Turner. Here comes Nesbitt. Two on one. And he finished the drive. TJ McConnell with six points. 
Three to three, two to score, and up by eight. Just keep on climbing down to really one and let that one fire it up. And here's Terry Scarlett, too strong to drive. Turner now has it over again, finding Denmark. Looks again, Turner right over now to TJ McConnell. He wants to get into Turner this time, and he's fouled. Tristan Thompson with his first pistol. Nearing a two minute mark, it's a 43 2 game. And a first team foul called on clean play. Now, Miles Terry really got that good look. He spins around, he says, okay, I'm going to take that too. But then that foul is called for deep. Miles Terry at the free throw line, he will take his first chance to add the extension up by 10. Turner, he's really well into professional, don't he? Oh, I know he is. Make that professional count. Niang, Coral, Levert, and Morell are checked in. The Pacers are adding a new changes here, as right now Jackson and Halliburton checked in. The second free throw will sink in. Two minutes remaining in the first half of the game, and now this will be Karis LeVert. Back again, Yang with the drive, he will finish it off with a floater in, and now it's a 42-34 game. Crowds are going loud in Indiana. The bounce thing, oh, overhead look to Turner. Trying to get back to Halliburton, and now give it back to Nesmith. Great ball moving for Indiana Pacers. He wants to get a new change up with a two, and Turner does it again. That's six points. And Halliburton with the assist. Just keep on coming down. The climbing is just the take technique. When Miles Turner gets it over finished, he wants to make that drive more count. Karis LeVert against Nemar. Sliding it back. Okoro. Here's a look for Morrell. Four to shoot. He will take it with the two. Niang. And he's up again, makes the three. Four three. One minute left to remain in the first half. Now he's off to get to Neymar. Neymar gives it over, now finding Halliburton. Trying to help the screen, but Turner wants to give it over again. Halliburton helps the screen, takes a drive, and he will take it in. Tyrese Halliburton with eight points. 46 to 37 to score, and now it goes back the other way. Morrell with the ball. Able to pick and go, moving. The screen denies. Changes up. That two rolls in and out. Back to Turner. And over to Jackson. Over again. Wow, what an amazing finish for Jackson. Uh, that's what he's just expecting to see. That was like, how do you do that with the finger roll? That's like a perfect player. I really love the Jackson favorite. He's not like Ricky Jackson, but he's more likely to a professionally an Irving style. The core on the outside, again, then to this mess with. 10 seconds to shoot. And there's an offensive foul. Isaac Okoro picks up his number foul and now changes over to Indiana Ball. Now here's a chance as now Nye and Mobley is checked back in. And for the Pacers now, we have McDermott. And this one will close out for the first half. Halliburton's team, 48 to 37. And we are at the halftime. This time now to go to court time. We say to David Aldrich. Thanks very much with J.B. Bakerstaff, Coach. What will be the areas of emphasis on defense in the second half? Well, we got to do a much better job just being physical, fighting them deep down in the post. we got to be very aggressive early, not letting them get deep post catches, make them have to kick the basketball out and not take those easy buckets. That is doing your work early, and we'll see if you can do it in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David. Thanks, so Thanks for joining us here and for the first half. Second half's coming up after this. Stay tuned for the next one for quarters underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny and Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. 
for the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. Their biggest lead in the first, five points. They looked firmly in control in the second, carving out a healthy 11-point lead. What do you think, Shaq, about Indiana? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to attack independent area. You get those high percentages. And uh, Kenny, what did you see from Cleveland? Well, it's never fun. You play against the team that's on fire. This team was on fire. They showed effort on defense, but it didn't matter. They couldn't get the stops. I don't think the opponent can sustain this kind of shit. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back here in Indianapolis as we're ready to start the third quarter. Have a good status here as we give it off to Tyrese Ellaburton and for the team that we've all got in common for Pascal Siakam. It's just way that you must take. It's just one of the best one to take. And that's all I can definitely say now. Pascal Siakam, he is on fire. Trying to let that one happen here. If there is, if there is a good chance, get in there. And we're about to get started for the third quarter. All fueled and set to go. And the cover-up is in between uh, Darius Garland and Ayala Burton. He's also with Nem he's also with Nemhard here against Donovan Mitchell. And here is Ned Smith on Max Struess. On the point four position, Pascal Siakam on Evan Mobley. And Turner is on Jared Allen. Allen has taken it over with a lot of percentage out there, trying to get some guys to the over and with some dunks. But this didn't really happen to be effective if he was going for a while. That big of a switch is already like taking his time right now. I mean, I don't know what you can do now because there might be another new change up in this situation. They can't let that one in here to go flying by if they have another takeover. The bounce pass now finds Siaka. Siakam gives it over again, now find Nesbitt, and now he gives off to Turner. Turner, for the finishing drive, but number one takes it in, and he has 10 points. 52, 39 to score. He's trying to battle it up already. The same thing with Halliburton, too. Well, it's just what they do. I mean, that's what you got to give that one the credit. But he's not really getting into a deep start out there, but he's got to make sure he has that one up. The foul is called on Pascal Siakam, and the lower foul will be called on Indiana. Now the next free throw line will be taking in for Jared Allen as he at the free throw line shooting two. Well, the cry now, it just doesn't mean like he's instandable. But that was in his spare place, and he has done it for it. The first free throw sends in for Jared Allen. And you always got to know that Jared Allen, he's just made that one with his better performance. He also played with his team, just like Miles Turner does. He plays for the University of Texas. That was back here with his team in 2016. His better performing is not really what he was able to do. But the same thing with Miles Turner, he also played with his college team. That's what his better stance is. You might be seeing of what he could do if the team blockbuster puts it for James Harden. But that one traded it off. Brooklyn Nets, now the Cavaliers. It's a turn to be on his neck. Halliburton trying to scrubble it over, now finding Siaka. He's on Evan Mobley. Give a good pass again to Nemhard. Over now to Nesbitt. Nesbitt with the screen in two. He fires it in, and the number one puts in for Indiana. Nesbitt's got eight points. 6-3-3 left to go in the third quarter. As now Gary Scarlett trying to switch things up a bit. Off in for the outside, on the burden to cover him. In towards the middle for two, and he has that one sticking back. 54-43 to score. Trying to get a better percentage out there, but this is not what the field goal turns in. He's trying to make sure he has an open more room. That better of his pressure is a lift off to be his ninth. Allen against Turner. Tries to step up. A two-pointer, no problem. For Turner, he has 12 points. Five and five this time. Oh, he's like a smoker. Just like he does here, every defensive effort, he must have that one come in flying by. Now, oop, he missed his one. Nice take for Nemhard. I don't know if it was Nemhard or Turner, but it might be a little change-up in between. Uh, I'm going to say Nemhard for sure. 
I don't know if Turner goes out, but I'm thinking the last one might be up there. Tiago for two. And this is off the target right now, and goes back to Mobley. There is Starling now has it over. Back to Schroots. The ball's tipped. And the Cavaliers will keep their ball alive after our last touch by Miles Turner. 5-16 left to go in the first period. With the look of the stats of Indiana, the fast break points was a little bit even. 18.1. They're in third place behind the Wiz uh, in front of the Wizards. It's just what they need to do. The fast breaker needs to get this one here at the fast pace. They really like to do that. Just like the Pacers of the Foss flying down here in front of downtown. They really got to do for a much better pace. He's over now. That pass stolen by Mobley. Here comes Garland. alley -oop again. And that one will deny that one. Halliburton with the ball. Now back again. Finding over is Nesmith. Playing the crowd go wild. 56-43 game. Three for Halliburton. Good range. Outside has 11 points. 59-43 is the score. They love this city here. It's a home of the Hawk. They grow basketball here. And they love it too. Jared Allen against Turner. Reporter for David Aldridge, he's talked to Big B. Bickerstaff. This one was not the best call of it because that one changes off. This call needs to make the right one work. We need our help. This is what the aggressive does if he has more time to have it there. But that one, Donovan Mitchell's really trying to get aggressive this time. He might be looking for helping on the problem round bound. Well, and all side now, just do your best. Don't give up. The pressure takes it all. Screen on Siaka. The open look from the elbow. He has an open room. He makes it 11 points. He's almost Harry Celebrating with that one at this point. He has the assist coming in. Louis Scarlett now finds it again a more senior for two. That rolls in and out as Walker will have it over. Now finding a dish off again to Halliburton. Halliburton now finds Nesmith. Nesmith watching in between. Gives it off to see to turn Siaka, and he will have it back. Now finds Nesmith with the ball. He has it over again to Halliburton. Find a call. Tipped. Siaka has it. Up for the two. It's good. Siaka with 13 points. They're up the extension now by 10. While they're scoring big now, they're really a flying guy. Donovan Mitchell. Try to give up the shoots for three. That makes it another one, or a miss by Cleveland. He's off again now to Walker. Walker now has it again to Nesbitt, and now Halliburton will try to give it off to McConnell. Off to Halliburton. Looks for a cut, TJ McConnell it. Good look, but the shot was off market. He's just really going to take all of it, but he's really going to have to make sure he has it all covered in. Mitchell makes the three, and he has that one back again. The 63 46 game. So I was saying it could, that might be Miles Turner with the rejection of the alley oop. Yeah, I, I might say so. I mean, he, he just really made that one really good. Pretty hard effort. He was trying to get that one to fuck it out of here, and that might be what his time does. Time is just everything, but he's got to make sure he, he's like all in pressure range to do it for just like that. Halliburton for three. The rim doesn't go in the bucket this time as Mitchell will have it. Here comes the take, and Mitchell will get it in there. 63 48 to score, it's 13 points in the game, 83 percent of this field goal. Now, Halliburton has it again to McConnell. McConnell will try to lift it out, and two minutes remaining on the court. Now, has it over again to Siaka. Give and go, look at over. And Halliburton seeks another tough double pointer. That's 13 points, 65 48 to score. Just gonna have to let that one go by, and now they're really up to a fight. Timeout call by Cleveland Cavaliers with 146 remaining in the third quarter. Checking out that status out there for Indiana fighting back to put a tie series in the game. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call to get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Rob Holtz, the official chip of the NBA.
and by Starry Lines. on changes for the Indiana Basis and for the Cavaliers is now Tristan Thompson checked in. He's also along with all five of our players checking out. And now on the court is Okoro, Niang, Levert, and Morrell checked in. The Pacers are making new changes here as a couple players checked out, a couple players checked in. Smith, Toppin, McDermott checked in. Levert trying to drop some help. In towards the screen, step back for two. Another miss by Cleveland. Oh, and they're shooting it really off the target right now. I mean, I don't know what they can do now. I mean, they're really, like, having a little bit of trouble here to keep the show on going. Hello, Burry, and then we'll have it over again. Now finding McDermott, too. It's up in here. Finally, he takes his first bucket. Just the final minute left to remain in the third quarter. He has it over. Coro with the one-hand dunk. Assist from Karis Lover. After Karis LeBert with the assist, it's a 67-50 game. As now again the McDermott. Now has it over again, now finds Oliverton. Oliverton trying to give over again, now finding Smith. Smith. Step back for the two. His first shot, no good. Morrell with the pressure. Trying to defend on the run. For two. Up again to miss. Thompson puts a reverse drive in. Under 30 seconds, it's a 67 52 game. Here's McConnell with the ball. And over again, now finding Halliburton. Halliburton tries to slow things down, and now you will have it over again to McDermott. Almost loose. Halliburton still holds on. 14 seconds left to remain. McDermott right to Oni Toppin. Over to Smith. Paid the shy. Here's a three for Toppin. Up and away. Makes a three. He has six points. Well, he's just only had two. I mean, I don't know what you could do. That's another one to get that bucket in. We're going to lay up drive, and he will count the bucket in. That's LeVert finishing off with the buzz beater in third quarter. Play four to four. Start things off. Well, that range is just the end of it. But the beginning is just how Pacers done. We just lift our hands up in the air. Let me hear ya. And we've reached the end of the three quarters. Four quarters underway, right after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you after this. All right, let's have a quick look for the State Farm Assist of the Game. They really are making that one look easy. I've always got a great tie I right, to keep the secrets on. The Turner, and he's been really like taking a good look. I like that one with the first half of the game. This one turned great. Yeah, I always got to know that. Miles Turner is really easy to grow up. Make the pressure out of it, out the tightness. It's the fourth quarter. Hope you're having fun with this one. We got the last one coming on. Diary Celebrating in Solitary Darius Garland. Van right from here, Odie Toppin. He's been from the air on the side of the player with Kevin Mobley. Then we have Miss Tisha McConnell. McDermott and on Isaac Akura. Then it's Walker. Then it's Jackson on Allen. And finally, it's Nemhard on Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> Nemhard just got makes that too easy enough to make the bucket in. Well, really sorry now. I mean, you can definitely have that one in a good quarter. I mean, go for all. Now, Darius Scarlett with the ball. Swings it off. Just travels around. Up for the two. He got him missed out. A bad timing releases for Jerry Scarlett. He's a little bit in trouble now. Well, he's a thing. You don't get a timing off with the LU. That means Jared Allen doesn't come in for looking. He really had that one messed up with it a couple times already. I mean, they were missing it out everywhere. But they don't want that one to get out of the way. And OB Toppin. Up for the layup. Can't get it in as Evan Mobley will have the ball now get back to Darius Garland. Darius Garland now finds down to Mitchell. Mitchell finding again to Okora and now Mitchell with the ball. Slides back, finds Jared out. Alibur on him. Great solid D performance and he will have it back. That will be a number two for Jared Allen of 72-56 game. 
Well, it's not really what they really expected because of Jared Allen's reaching it in there. He made a great drive out of it, just trying to let that one go in. Watching the cut, Tony Toppin fades the shot. Alaburton wants to take his own timing. Now with the screen, Alaburton trying to get off to McDermott. Will he take the triple? You bet! He has five points, and it's Alaburton with the assist. You know, this is a great way to you start communicating now. He's got six assists. I mean, you've got to talk for him to do it. Tony Toppin with an excellent defensive play, and now he's over again back to McDermott. Here comes Toppin. Up and over. That takes it in. Tony Toppin's the better player to me. He has another bucket to make it in. That's three for three on his field goal range. And Mobley toward the middle. The fade a shot. Solid contact here, and now this will be another take. Allen for three. He tries again. Allen for a second try. Doesn't hit it off the triple range. Oh, they're shooting a little bit of aggressive there. I mean, that's what happens for Jared Allen. He's not always getting enough in the second half, but the first half, he seemed to be a lot that easier to take. And now top in. That's Allen with the bad pass. And with the Coro, it's a nine by Jackson. Here's Toppin, around the man, and good. Only Toppin with, with another bucket. That's ten points in this game. Really have to say, Ernie Toppin is a really best player and the best bench point ever. Evan Mobley trying to handle it over. Pulls around the corner, one for two. And this will be rebounded by Ernie Toppin. Toppin's got his third rebound, but nearing him down to 4-3 to go. And Alaburton will try to change things up here. Now he finds McDermott with a wide open look, and it's good! Number two point puts in for McDermott. He has, big, big, he has seven points, and now it's Alaburton with another assist. And timeout call by Cleveland Cavaliers with 4-12 to go. Well, they're making it stand wild now. I really love their appreciation. They can let it go. This one's excellent. You always say Indiana Pacers are fighting back. Do not leave your seats here. New 73 changes now as the Indiana Pacers are making new, new lineups and for the Cavaliers making some new change on the deep offensive set. Now here comes Donovan Mitchell, a sidestep, we'll think about it, and he will have it in there. 81-58 to score, they are outscoring the Cavaliers bench by 12 in the last part of the, in the first half of the game. But now they're trying to look their way in there, and if he can get there, that far. Now finds it over to Jackson. Jackson tries to give off the bounce pass to McDermott. Fading over, gives it off to McHalliburton. And he's up to the two, near the free throw line, makes it in, as Halliburton to 15 points. He's got another win this time, and now Morrell will have it over against Halliburton. On number two, finds a pass to Mitchell. Mitchell, from the outside, trying to give off her, or call for three. And he'll have it sinking in for the triple range, after another one, with the play of the game. 83-61 to score. Here comes McDermott. Now finds it again to Halliburton. Halliburton now finds it again. McDermott over down to Walker. Three minutes left to remain in the fourth quarter. Ball's almost loose. And here's the take. Three player misses as Jackson with the rebound. Shepard still has it. On the drive. And Shepard! Tough shot. He has his first bucket. And chucks it with the assist. Now that's what happened with Shepard. You know how this one goes in? That's a hard one, but they are letting it go fly by. They're letting this one get to a talking range out. Three pointer misses again as Jackson will have it over. Now find it again to McDermott. Here's another one for Jackson. Jackson for the try. Bring it in. Misses again. Thompson with the rebound. Now finds Morrell. Back to a coral. Coral trying to let it go open. With the rub around, and he makes it in with a drive. Now the next time I will be called by Indiana Pacers with 2.13 left to go. It's an 85-63 game. 
We'd like to remind you, everyone, that Game 5 is underway for the NHL as the first couple games have been complete. But we have the air one that's underway with you as we have the Stars facing against the Predators back at Dallas at the American Airlines Center. Then following along with the next game as we have the first one to come in for the Jets and the Avalanche back for another part of the game in Mile High in Denver, Colorado. Then final game, this will be the next one part of it to start for this, for, for this game six for the Bolts and the Rangers at Amalia Arena. And then we will take you on the start of the second round for the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs Conference Semifinals to start things off. The next matchup is the Leafs to face against the Bruins for a next match of opponents. Another American versus the Canadian team. And now, without further ado, you will have your takes on that play. You'll find out soon enough. And with the choice pick in between, this will be on July 17th and 18th for the opening picks of the NBA shape choice for a cast in the vote and NHL. And now we present your New Balance player of the game, Tyree Salabert. Tyree Salabert is really like a professional player. He's just really like all to his pursuit. All hands for him and he just made that one great. I gotta say now, Tyree Salabert is catching his way to the playoff mode. He's trying to look for some good defensive struggling, but he wants to fight and never quit here. Here's Hello Burton with 2.10 to go. He's over now trying to give up or get to Nesmith. Now he has it back to Hello Burton. Give it a go look for Jackson. Wants to give it to Halliburton for two. Oh, yes, he does. Great pass by Jackson, and it's Halliburton with 17 points. Oh, he just really likes that pass, and it says, Go ahead, Tyrese, take the shot. He does it again. Struce with the ball. Slide it back. Outside the corner, Sirius Scarlet. With the screen, and pick and look. And he will have a tough corner shot angle as Darius Garland will have another two pointer. Here's Halliburton now has it again to Jackson. Jackson, back to Halliburton. The screen denies that one. Now has it over again to Jackson. Jackson tries to give it off to Halliburton. Five to shoot. Step back for two. And he does it again. Halliburton with 19 points. 89-65 is the score. That's what they all do. They make that one clearly a great type. They love it. Struce with the ball, trying to handle it in as a Mobi Wami Ayoop. It's tipped by Jackson, and Cavaliers will have the possession. Last change for the Cavaliers is all three players will be checking out as VA, Levert, and Thompson are checked in. Open look, finds LeVert. Now Mitchell tries the three. Triple arc, no good. One minute left to remain in the fourth quarter. As we'll now have it over, trying to give off to Nemhard. Nemhard gives the game to Jackson, and back to Nemspith. Tyrese Hellebrand will let the clock wind down with 45 seconds. Off the Turner, stolen by Niang. On a hustle break, now finding a look over the room. Oh! Jackson, got a great piece of it. They keep the ball out of here. Oh, what a rejection here. You just say, it's mine now. Let him have it. Fans are having a lot of fun here. Just having a clock wind down. Go five seconds to shoot. Turner for the last two. He will miss it on the outside. And now Thompson with the ball. Back to Mitchell. Last possession for Cleveland Cavaliers. And EA will step it out and will exit game four with the last three, and it's over.
89 to 65 is your final score. They are back again to tie it. There are superstars out there. Quick plays, nothing you can't break in. It's just what you do for play hard, play smart. And they are best at bringing up here, ready to hit the road to gain five in Ohio. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. With me, Son of Beast, along with David Aldridge, Van Wood Spoonie, and Holger Beast, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful rest of the day for the next game. I will be seeing you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. All right, thank you so much, dear Son of Beast. A great matchup in between of Indiana and Cavaliers of the Cleveland. 69% for field goals for Indiana, and it was 44 for the free pointers for Cleveland Cavs. 83 free throws, 8 fast break points, 42 points in the paint was Indiana Pacers. 12 second chance points was only Cleveland Cavaliers. 33 and 35, only bench points and assist, Indiana. 13 defensive rebounds for Cleveland Cavaliers. Defensive rebounds was 23 for Indiana Pacers. 7 steals, only 4 blocks is made. For four turnovers and 11 points were Indiana. Three team fouls was even in between Cleveland and Indiana. Seven dunks for Cleveland. No dunks on the other side for the Pacers as they got one. Then it was the biggest lead for 25 and time possession was 17-27. Indy for the Indiana and they're back to tie it again. Yeah, it's pretty amazing now. I mean, you've always got to make sure that this is really excellent. And now you got to make that one good clear. You got it all for yourself. A great lucky game. Now it's time to send you over to Tyler Beast for the three star players of the game. All right, thank you so much. Now time to send this thing over. 15 points starts off with Jared Allen. He only had one timing of a steal and only three rebounds and only 15 points of the game. Six out of 11 field goal range. Uh, just only 02 he had missed for his three pointers. Didn't happen to be the last one at all. Then it was only 15 performance effort and three dunks was made. But the other side, what does call in for in between, as we really are expecting to see that lot change. And this time, who calls for when? This calls for Donovan Mitchell. 15 points, 1 rebound, 3 assists, and he only got 6 out of 8 field goal range. 3 three-pointers and only 4 missing 3 throw, 3 pointers has made. Only 3 before had missed. 22 performance effort, but that was just all it takes. But your number one star of the player of the game, guess who it is? You call this one amazing. Tyrese Halliburton, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists, 9 and 11 field goals, 1 3-pointer and only 3 3-pointers. He's definitely in excellent place on his own average. 35 performance effort and he's just going crazy tonight. And that's what you always say, Tyrese Halliburton, your new balance player to game, does it all. And that's going to wrap it up here for the first game. If you're ready for the Pelicans and the Thunders, it's underway next. We'll stick you around here on the other side of the court in just a bit. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs in 2K sports style. Until next time, this is Tyler Beast and Boomer. Have a great day of Indianapolis, of Indiana, and the love town of Cleveland, Ohio. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.